What up, guys? Welcome to episode 54 of the Bat <laughs> Woo! Of the Batnet Podcast <laughs> in partnership with SweetPatch.tv. And we have got the usual, the Free Musketeers. I'm going to introduce him first. It is next year's next, I know it's next top model, even Irish Welsh Cat. <laughs> hey, what's going on? I'm good, my, I'm good. Not much is going on, Adam. What about you? I heard, well, your mum was stranded in town, was yeah, she not? Yeah, she was. Do you want to tell the podcast what happened? Well, I see she was stranded in town. She was uh, around the, a 20 minute drive away. 10 if you're in a car with me. You mean she couldn't be asked to get on the bus so she, sh- so she rang you? <laughs> no, basically, a car had a little uh, an injury. Uh, the car, some problems happened with it, and she couldn't drive it. Lucky enough, she was by her parents' Hold on, house. What? So she could not drive it at all? No. Why? I don't know. It's only suspension. But she had to drive at like 15 miles per hour if it, if that was the case. And ah, to it. actually get home, you have to drive on the uh, few, a national, few national roads. So, so what? That would be a long time. That would be like an hour and a half drive. What the fuck? Are you mental? <laughs> what? It's like 20 minutes driving at 60 all the way home. Do you know what? <laughs> uh, what, so you're telling me suspension is, is a bit knackered. So what does that it, what well, does I, that that's as far as engine on? And there's problem with the steering then from the outside. This is I great don't know. podcast. Ask the, the mechanic. <laughs> Ask the mechanic. I'm doing media, no mechanic. Your mum should stop being a cha- cheap bastard and buy a good car. Well, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, Dave, you're the you're the one with the car troubles. No, no. But there's anyway, no guys, car. I just got <laughs> diesel in it. But anyway, that was him. You <laughs> could hear me insult to everyone that comes on the show. <laughs> 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 it is the one and only Mr. <laughs> Sam Booker, man. I know that music, and he goes, duh, 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 like proper, you know, I want some of that, some hellish music. Duh, uh, duh, duh, that one. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Yes. And uh, actually, Sammy, you can uh, see what's coming on this Batman podcast, episode 54 in partnership with SweetPatch.tv. Oh my god, do you get commissioned for saying that? <laughs> yeah, I get paid, uh, yeah, I'll keep that quiet. I'm gonna get that printed on podcast on like a T-shirt. What's coming up on today's podcast? <laughs> or post it in the comments. <laughs> right, think, okay. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what's think, coming on the podcast in partnership well, with Sweet Patch. that, Dave? I was thinking, right? You know what? Uh, for people that don't know, we're getting Sweet Patch shirts. The three of us. Well, I was thinking we we should have got like our nicknames on them. So like Dan could have had like I don't know what is Dan's post nickname. In the comments. <laughs> yeah, but I could have had like Ireland's next top model on the back. That would have been wicked. Post in the comments. Ireland's next top mo- model and. Uh, well, I ain't been then. No, there's this one guy that joins my stream the whole time and goes, "Oh, it's Ireland's next top model," and like literally no one else knows what he's on about. <laughs> People, you get that oh sometimes. My, you see, Adam's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> what were Adam? Go on, Dave. Yeah, tell go, us what's but, coming on this week of the Back in Air podcast in partnership with Sweet Patch. <laughs> <laughs> You're not bad, right? Okay, we're gonna talk about uh, Euro 2012. The Adam <coughs> talk about oh, well, what's happening with our trophies and. Whatever. Um, with obviously we have a professional footballer on. Woo! 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 Yeah, that's how cheap yeah, we are. We've got a professional footballer on. What's uh, up? Not it's not your turn yet, George. Yeah, Calm George. down. <laughs> yeah, might be professional, but you do his Yeah, all right. Gotta keep him in check. You know these footballers, yeah. You know the like. Yeah. Night like, fucking doing something wrong. All right. Okay. So. Uh, we're gonna talk uh, about uh, the team of the week. Yes, team of the we're week. About the play- our players of the week. Yes. Uh, we're gonna talk about real life football. Yes. We're gonna. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> what else? And have we, we do have that? questions for our special guest, which uh, is our Of seat. course, but that's everybody knows that. Yeah, unless you. Like that. You win. Yes. Yes. I like that. Oh, yes. I thought this more. But uh, okay. Adam, would you like to do the honours and introduce our one and only professional Adam, footballer? Adam, you gotta say you gotta say how many channel views he's got and subscribers. Yeah, so. uh, I can't, I don't have his channel open. Well, so uh, well, Joe, oh, uh, we have got the one and only. He's been hey, playing for several years now. Hey, Dan, let me do it. <laughs> It's like, this is my bit! <laughs> it is my bit! Like, Dan, Dan gets to fucking open the podcast every week. He gets the honour. And I and he's taking away the one thing I have. <laughs> well, the one thing you only do anyway. But I go on, Adam. Uh, <laughs> Handbags! Daniel Griffiths, honestly. Go on, Mr. Uh, next, uh, next, uh, who, gets all these, who gets all these <laughs> guests in the podcast, Dan? It's because it sure as hell ain't you. Well, to be fair, we all know George. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> introduce him. <laughs> we have, uh, <laughs> this week on the podcast, we have Mr. George 7K FIFA, as he's known on YouTube, or George Kendi in real life. Oh, George 7K FIFA. He plays uh, Town Football Club and is a professional footballer. Say hello, George. Hello, I'm, I'm George. <laughs> What's up, guys? Um, we want to so. mention... Oh, we've got somebody wrong person. <laughs> 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 shit, I'm not George. I'm, I'm, I'm Eric. Um, <laughs> I'm Derek. <laughs> I, think I, I think we'll have to give him mentions that uh, George has shown a lot of dedication to come on this podcast. Um, recently, he popped the take his dog out for a walk. He's going to be 10 minutes. <laughs> Took his dog out for ended up going back with a charger he, for he his back, He came back with a charger... <laughs> Uh, which right? What happened was like, George. Would you like to give the lowdown on this? I mean, you were actually right, okay. there. So we're ready to do the podcast. Just waiting for uh, Adam and. Uh, As usual. <laughs> so I'm thinking, all right, quick ten minute walk over the road for my dog, and uh, I come back, I find my uh, laptop charger is like blown up, sort of thing. So uh, to show, like, my laptop's turned off because of the battery. So um dedication to this uh, back of the net podcast i've run down probably a 35 minute walk i've run up and down a hill and i've uh, brought a laptop charger for quite expensive 55 pound and uh plugged that it in the most expensive dog walk you've ever done <laughs> i know like normally we don't charge people 40 quid to get on here 55 is <laughs> a bit much uh, yeah but uh I'm, I'm carrying my dog in my hands you was running, running with the up. dog in your hands yeah, because my dog can't, it? It, my dog's only small, so it's, it's like... By any little... chance, have you got, like, a, a white it's dog, which is kind of, like, f- I don't know, I got, I got a feeling that you have this dog, which is I, white, slightly curly. Um, no, not curly, it's, dog, it's basically curly. A, sh- a shih tzu, white and black, oh. and it's fluffy. Oh, a shih tzu's a race. I had a shih tzu oh, once. Uh, they're race. I had a shit once. And, and I was stood next to a girl called Sue. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I had a shit on Sue. <laughs> okay, not going much, mate. Go on, anyway. But yeah, go on. Uh, and, that's awesome. and that's the end of the story. We'll have to give him dedication to that for that, guys. Go sub. He does actually do YouTube videos. We go more onto that with the questions. But... Very good YouTube video. Yes, go yeah. show some dedication. Oh, stop it. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Give me blood. Blood. Okay, say that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, there's an extra fifteen quid gone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, it's. We was quite surprised when we actually heard the story. He was like, "You actually did that to come on this podcast." Wow. <laughs> dedication. I don't think he bought it. He probably robbed it. That's why he's dogging Shut, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just got this image of you running down with your dog in your arms now trying oh, to get this charged for the, some reason. People look at me, beeping at me. Must have been like, what is he doing? <laughs> Are the people beeping at you? <laughs> because I've got a dog in one hand and like a laptop case in the other hand. So I'm running down it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> right. Ladies and gentlemen, like this... Youths these days, they're always in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, let's crack on into some questions as we do every single time we have got a guest. Um, we have got some questions. We have kind of answered this one already, but who do you play for? And well, oh, etc. Or who have you played for, etc. Alright, so uh, I started off my career sort of thing at Southampton, and um, I played with the likes, well... I trained with people like Chamberlain, who's gone on to Arsenal, obviously. And uh, there's a few other players that are getting into the Southampton first team that I trained with. I then uh, picked up quite a bad knee injury, so uh, I got released from Southampton. Went to Reading Trials, played really well there, I guess. Got into the Reading youth team. Again, played with some big players. This is when Reading were in the Premiership. So I, 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 I met up with like Shane Long and all like the big players what you could have said back then (laughs) and then um, again picked up another bad knee injury on the same leg basically the same injury but in a different position so um, I got released from there moved on to uh, Aldershot did some trials at Aldershot and I got into there and touch wood so far I haven't been the luckiest with injuries but (laughs) they haven't been injuries that have kept me out and then um Crawley came along recently, Crawley's Town, and they put in a loan deal for me with like some money if they want to buy me at the end. And uh, Ultra accepted it, trying to get some experience, I guess, but it, at the same time, they're not the richest club, so they could do with the money. So uh, I'm at Crawley Town at the moment. Oh. Is it confidential, George, or how much was your transfer fee? Where you uh, potential one of you move? No, no comment, no. <laughs> um, I think the loan deal was probably about. 2,000, 3,000 just to get me over to Crawley and then the 
like excess fee after they if they want to buy me is probably about twelve thousand, thirteen thousand. Yeah, that's quite cheap compared to Man Not no. not quite Ronaldo rates like Ronaldo. I'm not being funny. That's not bad because I'm only seventeen. You can get a, for get a Russian eye for about forty k. So that's not uh, bad. In, injury prone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How long have you actually been playing football then? Just all your life, or is uh, it... no? I, I actually started when I was like ten or eleven years old. Huh. Like before, I was into cricket. Like I was quite a good cricket player, and then uh, I was like backstop, and then I did something to my hand. So uh, that I you like, are injury. Stop playing everything. Have so, you been uh... playing <laughs> Pardon? Say that again. Have you hurt yourself playing FIFA yet? Like, no, not yet. I'm, I'm waiting for that day. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that, no, like, I, I was quite scared to catch a ball. Like, again, you're quite young, so uh, yeah. you're not the bravest of people. So, uh, that stopped me playing that. So, I wanted to get back into sport. Mm. So, I just started playing football. And uh, I'm quite, I'm, I'm not bigging myself up, but I'm pretty pacey. So, uh, I always well, thought you must be right if you're sprinting down my shop and back within tw- uh, <laughs> half hour. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, yeah, so I just got into football, and uh, I did. I went to like an after-school club, and they uh, they recommended me to call up uh, like all the local clubs around where, where I live, mm. and um, just got trials from there and played well, and I guess so. Uh, basically, I have to thank my dad and then the after-school clubs. So, mm. yeah. When did you actually? You say you went to Southampton first. Mm-hmm. Uh, when did you get involved? When was you really young, or was you just like around fourteen, fifteen? Um, I, no, when I went to Reading, I was 13, so it must have been, I must have been about 12 when I joined uh, Southampton. That's not bad, is it? You played literally two years of football, and they went, oh, we'll uh, have him at Reading for a bit, till he gets yeah. injured. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but um, Reading's probably, like, because of the f- facilities there, they was always in the higher leagues and all the other clubs I've been at, it was amazing there, and... I'm not like George. You know when you were at Southampton. Yeah. Did you get scouted, or is that like? Did you go to like an open kind of like trial? It was. It was sort of the same thing. There was an open trial day, but it was sort of linked to Reading, but it wasn't. But there was. Oh, like... uh, all right. So they, because like I know a scout round here. What he does is he invites you to like he, he like scouts those are kids, and mm-hmm. then they come to a training session. For like yeah, five scouts. weeks, and that, that'll be that, won't it? That'll be like the, oh, yeah, and like the they'll, have, they'll have scouts there, like yeah. Set, and then oh, after pieces. five weeks, they pick the people they want to keep. So that's kind of, will that be the kind of same thing as yeah, you? Yeah, that that'll be that like exactly the same. I think I did mine for eight weeks though, but again, it's basically the same. But oh, they, they they probably rate you out of five, and to get into the academy, you probably have to score four and over every week. Right, really? so you've got to be consistent then, haven't you? Oh, you've got to yeah. Be on your, you can't have an off week, can you? You've got to no, keep... No. You have to always be, like, motivated and mm. concentrated. I mean, that's a, that's a, um, an achievement in its own, isn't it, to be fair? Oh, yeah, like... I mean, even if you don't play for first team for anybody, I mean, how many people can sit, put their hand up and say, I've been scouted fucking how many times, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm very grateful of all the clubs that have. What's good as like, well, they actually still want you, even though you're injury prone at the moment. Oh, uh, no, but <laughs> my, um, touch for it again, my knee has been much better recently. Hmm. Can as you improve pro- it then? Can you, like, I, is the train, think, is it like going in gym, doing certain things that can, like, think, prevent uh, it from going again? like growing up sort of thing my bones because I, I was always quite a small person but I've recently had quite a like big growth spurt so um I think my like my legs and muscles have sort of it grown into my knee now yeah right. so like I guess working on the knees at like in a gym would help as well so uh, of course if you're defending you are gonna put the tackles in so oh, yeah, you're gonna ask you what position you play or anything yeah, right. I, I am right back mm. yeah you've, you, you've gonna take over from Gary now aren't you <laughs> Better than Garrett now. I can take over from fucking Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, like, when you moved to Crawley, George, was there, like, Crawley scouts coming to your games, or how did it happen? Like, did Aldershot recommend you to them, or what way? Uh, no, there was actually, um, I'll tell you another story in a minute, but, um, I I think it was, I uh, captained the Aldershot Reserve game, and it was my first time of captain mm. the reserves, and, um, like, they must have seen that I was quite good at communicating with the other players, and it's weird. Like I was captain, and I was I'm I was 16 at the time, and I'm telling people who's like 32 year olds what to do. <laughs> it's like it's it's weird, but then like the scouts must have seen I was communicating, and I was still doing my own defensive duties. So um, 
that like there were scouts from Leighton Orient and also like Sheffield Wednesday, I think, were there. Oh, and, uh, you didn't go to Wednesday. Who? <laughs> <laughs> I only come and stay with you, Dave. D- <laughs> oh, you could have, man. I mean, I would have given you some stick for, b- for playing for a D-Dar set of bastards like Wednesday, but you could have <laughs> stayed at mine and I took you there. I wouldn't have had to find any tickets, though. I mean, I'd have to dog taking shit in garden, but... <laughs> But yeah, I, I think yeah, I think you're a good manager. I mean, you're enjoying it at Crawley, so I think you. Yeah. yeah. Did you have a choice, or did they were they the only one? To... Um, they they gave me the choice, but they said that Orchard was like, if you want to get better and move further up, you should definitely go to uh, Crawley. Mm-hmm. So Orchard, I have to thank so much because they gave me the chance to play yeah. against. Sort of thing. I mean, they probably want you. Like they say, that's what when you're your age, that's what you want to be doing. I mean, you want to be playing and, and getting good experience. And, and mm. obviously, I mean, no disrespect to Aldershot, but you, you know, Crawley's probably a hell of a lot better setup. Mm. You know what I mean? Totally. So, the, like the money at Crawley is like you would never see that Aldershot. Like in the future of Aldershot, I don't think you'll see that money. And do you think Crawley are like definitely going to be a club that are going to be like going championship like level? Yeah, soon? with the money they've got, I think their owners are multi millionaire. So for a League Two <coughs> club, even for like a League One club, that is really good. Mm. So I uh, definitely think I it, the club itself will get bigger and grow. Plus anything, and when w- if you get the option, like would you join at the end of the season? Um, I f- I think that. Crawley have been in touch with Ultra and they do want to keep me at a full time basis so uh, I'll have to keep you updated Ooh. with that fingers crossed then dude yeah, talk to... George are you pulling out for the are you not like holding out for a big money deal now from Crawley <laughs> you, uh, you and Pogba uh, uh, Pogba yeah because you know he's holding out for a big deal because because you, Juve are like offering him like 40 grand a week oh I'm uh, just going to keep rejecting them until they give me what I want <laughs> <laughs> Only once, mi- only once, if you're listening, teams, only once is an Xbox. <laughs> That's it, Xbox, FIFA, and maybe a couple of million coins. That's it. <laughs> can, you imagine, I mean, can you imagine me getting the contract for hey, that? George, do you reckon you could get EA to like fix you up with your own... Same for Swindon. Oh, they sponsored by FIFA. FIFA. That, that my, my, uh... That's the only reason, Dan. Yeah. Oh, my, my God. Uh... This is why you should never be a, like a... Um, what, an agent. <laughs> Saying, talking about Swindon, my um, my cousin actually plays for Swindon, and he's he's actually on FIFA, left back, Swindon Town, English. Callum I, I may have disguised him once or twice, but uh, yeah, go on. <laughs> <laughs> but no, oh, so, uh, he's done. George, well. what do you reckon your chances of getting your own inform would be off EA? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just have to get into FIFA first. Ooh, that's a question. Would you? Oh think yeah, you... George, the question you get all the time: Are you in FIFA or Football Manager? I'm not in FIFA or Football Manager yet. But My I think, I may, I, I I think I'll probably be in uh, manager mode next season. Hopefully, be in the yes. Board. I'll buy you because I'm starting <laughs> off with a lower league next year, so <laughs> I could sign you. Be like, yes, you can. That's my buddy, right there, George Kennedy. Get in this guy. <laughs> even if I will have to buy you on loan. Or oh, can you imagine? you in a way, uh, they got a growth system. Imagine your rating goes up to like 89. <laughs> How generous <laughs> would he be? I, I, imagine you turned out so shit. That'd be embarrassing. That'd be awkward. Imagine, imagine, it's still imagine, oh, I'm it's on FIFA. Already. As well as, do you think Ben Garrett is happy that he's on FIFA? Uh, he is, he is. It's like, you have to ask, would you want to be on FIFA? Would you be on FIFA to be the lowest rated player? I yeah. would give a fuck me if, if it said zero, zero, zero on everything. <laughs> You're on you know FIFA, I mean? aren't you? Yeah, exactly. I'm like, look at me. I put, I'd always, and this is the truth, I'd always stick me up front, even like on all the team <laughs> shit. I'd always be next to like Eber or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Just for like, yes! <laughs> me and Wayne up front. Oh, even if like Eber were like, oh, threw one goal or something, I'd still square it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I'd have been taking everything. <laughs> no, but hopefully I'll be in FIFA next year. I should be. That'd be awesome. You definitely be a football manager. I know that for a fact because they have every single person in there. Because mm. my friend he plays for Hearts, um, and he's in there, and he was in there since uh, God. This was ages ago when he played for like Bristol, well, hey, Bristol City. Did he turn into a good player? Huh? In football manager, what's his growth like in football manager? Um, I don't know. This was uh, <laughs> this was when he was at Bristol, which was about two years ago. So, George. Yep. Um, I fucking forgot now. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> You want to give you a few minutes, Dave? Uh, and <laughs> then we'll come back to you. I was thinking about price locking you. Or doing this. <laughs> Road to George. <laughs> Road loads to of, George. Loads of people have uh, promised me that they're going to price six me. 
Uh, so, uh, what, oh my god, you need to get KSI oh, to make a beast video yeah, on Yeah, I was going to just about to say that, we're going to get KSI to do a beast video <laughs> Oh my god, oh. imagine you'd be like, ridiculous price. But what, what's your view on the on today's um, news about Chad Evans? Chad Evans. Chad. Um, <laughs> yeah, Dave, go right. Sent down ideas. <laughs> so like, personally, I spent the night with him, he was fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, no reaping. <laughs> well, yeah, well, what he's done is, everyone knows it's like, it's not right to do, is it? So, um, I think he's, he's probably given quite a bad name to football, but then it's happened before in the past, isn't it? Do you think so, that they've given him a high, like five? I see. I'm not sure what the, you know, what the regular sentence, you know, what how many years you do anyway. But do you think it didn't help him being a professional football that they kind of went and make an example, even like even you, even professional footballers can't get away with it kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? For all the I, money. I guess so, but how? I don't, I don't know how long rape is in jail, but. <laughs> they might have given him. They might give him like. He's a probably going to serve five years. It'll be a year. You know, it depends. Yeah, on it'll, it'll probably do a year and then. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll fucking won't do a year. I'd be shitting my pants. Oh but, yeah. You know, somebody. Some your pants. Who is this Chad yeah. Evans? May I ask? Why are you asking George well, about him? He's a footballer. He used to play for Man City. I think he's Welsh, isn't he? He, he, he played for, uh, United. for Sheffield United. I might know him then. Yeah, he used to play for City though. He played for Sheffield. Well, he played Sheffield United. Got done for rape today, five years or something. But the thing was, it wasn't like he raped her. It was like apparently she couldn't remember what happened because she was so oh, drunk. So... Late. She, yeah, she was too drunk to consent. Which I'm not being funny, but I mean, like, do, do you That's... have to go to a woman and go? Excuse me. Just making sure that I don't get done for rape, love. Are you too drunk to to have a thought? But like, that's and what you're saying. Like... Fucked. Oh, sorry. Good job, love. I didn't want That's... to get sent down. That's like what people. Oh. That's what like what people do in like uni and like just young kids in general. Oh, so like that's how, that's how you do it, is there, Adam? I'll take that <laughs> yeah, first, date so. rape drug. Date rape drug, Dan. No, oh, but seriously, it's like Irish Rose Coast date tip. <laughs> Get him <'em> drunk. <laughs> but um, like that's what people do in general. So it's like, to be honest, I, I never how... tried it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't remember me. You just, <laughs> you just wake up with a sore arsehole. <laughs> Sounds like Adam, you've experienced this too much. <laughs> You'd probably wake up with something like that round your mouth, like with your profile picture at minute done, but it won't be ice cream. Will it? <laughs> oh god! The thing is, I still have a sore neck after sleeping on my floor last night for some mm. reason. But uh, anyway, uh, in no way we was discussing when you were in FIFA. Will you end up being one of the guys without a face, or will you have a face? You reckon? Uh, it, it, it really probably depends won't. if um, if like, they come down and take a picture, but. I hope they will, but it, look, most youth players don't really have a face, do they? No. Obviously, you play for, obviously you play for like Southampton, Reading. But yeah. who's your favourite football team, man? I mean, like uh-huh. as, a, as a kid growing up. Um, I've always, uh, I'm actually a really, really big Arsenal fan. Well, lucky, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I have watched them through the glory years, and I've seen them through the bad years, but. <laughs> It's been a lot of bad years, George. <laughs> yeah, but you have to think about it. Through a footballist's perspective, they still done well to get in the Champions oh, League yeah. 15 years yeah, in a row. I, I know people to, to piss, but it's because uh, they, they have... Because I they've find it even so- worse if Chelsea don't get in there. And, 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 uh, no, if Chelsea and Spurs don't get in there, Newcastle do. I find that even worse than like Arsenal's past six yeah, years. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because, to, look, you just have to look at Arsenal this season. They At the start of the season, where they... 18th, 19th, Round and on, area, yeah. they're, now, now they're third. So it's it's an incredible season, basically. So uh, it'd be glad if we get Champions League football. Yeah, that would be a beast. Uh, oh, and this is your. Oh, out of really. all the out of all teams that you played for, George, which was your like favorite team to play with for? Oh, favorite, probably Crawley at the moment because I've, when you're young, you don't really have that many memories, do you? And mm. like, I, I didn't get really get the chance to train with any big players. I used to just train like. Uh, that, uh, well, well, Redden used to put me like I would have been under <laughs> 12s I think and they used to put me up to under 14s playing with them so um, I, I was always playing two years above me it's not bad is it? So, no it's not so uh, everyone was always taller than me but I never got the chance to play with the first team or anything like that but at Crawley now I've got the chance You've to play with Pablo the first Mills. team I've got Pavlo big Pavlo <laughs> <laughs> big shout out to Pablo hope you're watching I hope uh... <laughs> I've heard big things about you, literally. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, my favourite one for I think you're amazing. Uh, George, George says you're a really nice guy, and thanks for uh, setting him up, you know, looking after him. 
when, when you're like, when you like, it's not a bit awkward, George, at first with the whole shower situation. Because like, when we used to play football, like we we're just playing locally, so we're obviously just like going home after match. We're not all showering together. Is that a bit weird at first? Um. Yeah. Well, that's I've a random got... question. I'm not gonna lie. I no, wasn't no, no, expecting no, it, that it, to come it, out from your mouth then. Didn't because I got... I'd got it down right. Because I've I've had to like playing in a few like games and there's like everybody's got it show and you're like. Ooh, I'm sat next to somebody we schlong at. What's all this? No, but like, I got thrown in the deep end this first day of training. I didn't, I like barely knew anyone. Like, you know what it's like going to new school. <laughs> and the West so Island don't... coming out, Georgie, coming back <laughs> to the shower. <laughs> you don't know anyone, but like, once you're in there, like, you get to talk to people and just <laughs> you get to see people. So I'm not, I'm not afraid. Of, I'm not as afraid of my, uh, my dong. It's, it's pretty big. <laughs> okay. It's brilliant. No, it so, is. Yeah. No, it's a certain people we won't mention. Mention, obviously, um, <coughs> Pablo. Um, right. <laughs> no, no, but it, it, is, it is awkward at the start. It is quite. You're just I like pre dead judge show. If you if you're a nice size, you'd be like, oh, right. I'm. Well, no, it's, 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 it's true what like, they say, George. So basically, like, you get you get respect for the size level. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm obviously gonna have a big no, respect. Oh, that's what you got for know. captain. Then I see. I can understand now why you actually got for captain for the like, reserves. No, like, you know, like the people who are with, with big, huge, ridiculous lungs, they're always like, they, they always get it out because they're not, it's like they're proud of it. It's like, I played a couple of games in Leeds, um, like Saturday League, just for like cover, covering for somebody because they were low on players. Uh, and I didn't realise it was like quite a good setup, so they had like proper changing rooms, you know, like big baths and stuff. And this fucking bloke on the team just whacked, well, whacked, 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 and I swear it was dragging up floor. <laughs> and he's going, are you getting it, Baff? I'm like, I might wait until I get home, mate. Uh, <laughs> uh, like condition. I'm thinking, am I fuck going to get in the bath with fucking horse knob? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, um, I know. I'll, like, I'll leave that as kind of explicit. I, I was kind of like, like dip, dr- going slowly into it, and everybody's just jumping in this bath and like, not giving <laughs> a I'm Like, I really don't want to get in here because... I might that might just sliver around up my ass or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh. oh my god! Um, I got a question. It it, it is. Um, have you, who's the best like player that you've ever played against, or who have you played against that we may know of, like um, in your games, reserve games, the, or whatsoever? The, the the I'll say the biggest three. Um, first of all, we've got Dave Nugent. Everyone knows Dave Nugent. Quality. Um, played against him. I think is it Ipswich or Leicester? It's one of them reserves. He was playing. Just got back from injury. So um. That that's a massive achievement just to play against him mm. because he's, he's not he's not a bad player, is he? I mean, then, uh, you played well against him. Uh, I played alright against him. I didn't have the best of games against him, no. But um, I I just come back from injury. I think that's the game where I came on and we conceded five. <laughs> oh, yeah, we <laughs> shit out of you for that, didn't we? Yeah, and then um, probably Paul Pogba. He's he's one for the future. Played against him when I played against. Is he United. as greedy as he is that he wants his money? He is very greedy, yeah. and um, he did. Uh, his long shots on FIFA are true. He uh, <laughs> scored a 30 yard screamer. But do you, yeah, is he uh, one of these people that's quite mourned, you know, like somebody tackles him, he's like, oh, what are you doing? It, it, or is it's he... a player, if he doesn't get the ball passed to him, he'll be in a, uh, a strop. He won't track back, sort of thing. So, play, a selfish player, really. So, people, if you are looking to sign him in the near future for your team, don't. Don't, don't bother. <laughs> and then um, I played against. Reveal Morrison. Don't know if many of you know him. Plays for United, but he's actually. He uh, does, he been... does what he used to. He yeah, he's been signed now. by uh, West Ham, and um, he's actually a very decent player. But um, I've, that's probably the best game I've ever played uh, against United under 18s, where and I had him in my back pocket. Basically. What, what did he say to you before the game, George? He uh, he went, "I'm gonna absolutely destroy you throughout this game," and he like he's one of them players. He knows what he's doing. He he stands on your toes. He's like he's hitting you. Like when the ball's coming in from across, but you know I was there with the squeaky, uh, the ball squeeze. I was there, I'm not <laughs> afraid. But um, no, he he weren't, he didn't live up to expectations, but he's still a very decent player. <laughs> Sorry, I was just referring to a comment. Um, this is your question anyway, Adam, because we kind of switch it up a little bit. The re- one sec, I don't even know if the question's open. No. Can you just do it? it? It's in your, it's in the chat. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> um. Sorry about the un- okay. prof- professional. Says Dan, who going, oh, sorry, I'm just writing to a comment here, <laughs> don't mind. <laughs> uh, um, there's a question someone said on Twitter um, How long have you been in academies for then? Oh, well, I started when I was 12. Missed out a few years. So I think about five years. 
four years maybe. And like in the academy, George, is there like, is there players that everyone knows they're going to be like the big players, or is yeah. pretty much everyone's treated equally? Like, do you, yeah, do you no. see some people being brought off by like the like first teams and stuff like by themselves? No, like when I was at Southampton, it was always Chamberlain. He was always the next big thing. He's always been pacey. Um, Redding is probably my mate, Craig Tanner. He's a, a very, very good striker. So uh, everyone knows him at the club. Even he like trains for the first team there. So uh, he's very decent. Uh, <coughs> Crawley, I wouldn't say there's any decent young players. I'd, I'd say I'm not being big headed, but I'm one of the better players at the youth squad because I am playing in the reserves with older people and I've captained them once or twice and um what all shot at... <laughs> <laughs> <Better> bastard <laughs> <laughs> that's another story for another day but <laughs> <laughs> um and then probably at all trips probably at Adam <coughs> Mech, who's playing first team football he's very very good hmm. what's your favourite mo- this is not a question so I was just thinking about it. what's your favourite mo- I know you haven't had many stories but favourite have you no let me change this I'm changing the question. Well have you scored Get a goal on. yet? I have scored a goal, yes. What's the best goal you've scored? That's if you scored more than one. All right, so um, I'm playing Aston Villa under 18s. It's, Not bad uh, side on it. Um, FIFA just like you mentioned. <laughs> Bam, oh, great young mode. player. <laughs> and um, it's probably the first 15 minutes of the game, and uh, the ball's coming from a corner. It's being headed out, and I'm like, I'm probably about. 35, 30 yards out and I've controlled it down on my chest and I've touched it down on the floor and I've tried to put a cross back in <laughs> but it's been a bit of a slice <laughs> and the keeper, it's just loved the keeper, gone in the back of the net and uh, you know one of the moments where you don't know what to celebrate so uh, just ran up to the corner flag and did a dive <laughs> <laughs> well, well George were you doing the old yeah I meant that, yeah totally uh, uh, yeah I was thinking Sucker going to call me up and I'm going to be like yeah I did purpose <laughs> Uh, oh, I'll, I no, wonder. I, I didn't make doing. Have that. you it's ever still... planned? Well, this is what you want to do for your next goal. You score. Do a celebration, just like <laughs> on FIFA. I did do. You know the dive. I was just saying. It was like the one where you like you're holding the back button and then you dive to the left. The cl- like the Klinsman one, is it? It's sort of, yeah, sort of like that. But it's like I think it's called like the fish dive or something like that. So uh, I did that. But I think the next one. You know the one where you go crazy and your arms going up and down and you're like running. Yeah. Me. I think I might oh, yeah, try yeah. that one. Like the oh, the, all the oh bird, yeah. I know exactly all the bird one. <laughs> and lift George, your knees up as well. <laughs> now, when you, George, when you're on a, what you call a football league show, when you score, you want to pull out a t-shirt that says, I love Backer Net Podcast. <laughs> yes, we'll make you one. We'll pay if you. If you make me one, I will do that. Yes, <laughs> I think we will. I would do that. We'll and then, pay oh, how, how good publicity would that be? Because everyone would be like, what's Backer Net Podcast? And then we get Ooh. so much more of you. Actually, Dan, and then I'll have sponsored by... Sponsored by Super Patch. <laughs> Dot TV. Don't forget that. I was, was going to say, did uh, did you see Pierce Morgan giving us a shout out during the week in one of his tweets? Yes, I did. Uh, it was Gary Lineker, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he was like going on about back net, and I was like, finally. I thought the views went up a little bit last week. It wasn't like. <laughs> I was wondering, but uh, yeah, it looks like Pierce Morgan's been uh, listening in to the back net podcast. Hi, Pierce. We know Him you're a regular queen, listener, yeah. and also Gary. How are you doing? <laughs> But, uh, Ad, uh, Sammy, this is your question. This is kind of the... I, this is one of the most important questions, I would say. Uh, I agree. In the question, we have, like, lords, and uh, we have ones from viewers, and they're like, yeah, oh, wow, that's really good. But this one is kind of just... It's off this, the I think, scale. I think this defines you. Yes. <laughs> defines you if you're a man or uh, a mouse. I will do it in uh, the style of what we asked... Well, what answer AA9 skills uh, did it... <laughs> Is it tits or ass or teeth? Yes. Oh, oh difficult yeah. question. This is on a woman, mate, not a man. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, really, Dan? Because I would have just assumed it was a man. Well, I thought I'd mention because you got some people in there. They may like, get confused. I'm, I'm going to say, what's the bum like if the tits are nice? Nice peachy one, nice smooth and round. Okay. So oh, say, oh, say, oh, say oh, the girl has to have nice tits on her, yes. Yes, yeah, good lad. <laughs> Motorboat time. <laughs> <laughs> Get in there, That's what I'm talking about. Pablo will be proud of me. Yeah. Does Pablo's wife, does she have a nice pair? I wouldn't go there if yeah. I <laughs> We would just, we would just see this podcast. Pablo, don't down. listen. <laughs> 
Um, right. <laughs> so George, have you have you been handing out like business cards with your YouTube channel on it? Like, uh, no, you... n- not yet. No, no. Yeah. You're wait. Are you waiting for the like football focus interview for that one? Oh yeah, yeah. George, Strike, out of all the players, yeah, mm-hmm. who's got the best looking bird? Best looking bird. All right. This um, is poorly made. There must be some typical massive plastic tits. You know, <laughs> uh, you know, typical. You know. I'm gonna go, De- I, De- Matt Tubbs. He he's not there anymore, but his oh my god, <laughs> woo, Daniel. She she was, but now he's not there. It's probably Hal's got a a banging bird, the left back. I'm gonna be uh, Google Images and searching these, George. So they're very good. <laughs> I'm be fat, they they are good. Don't you worry. <laughs> Um, is there, have, we, have we got any more football questions before we go on to like YouTube? Oh, stuff? about his career. Yes, Someone asked him. Uh, uh, your uh, career. Oh yeah. Are you are you concerned about like the longevity of your career? Like it's only ten, twenty years. Like that's if you don't get injuries or whatever. Um, well, if I could play for another twenty years, get on to until I'm thirty-seven, I'd I'd be more than happy to do that. We well, plan but... to move to America when you're around thirty-five or something. Uh, the, I'll have to think about that when I <laughs> right. am thirty-five. Okay, just ask it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I want to be. I want to play in different countries apart from the uh, the English league. So I would definitely think about doing that when I'm older. Another mm-hmm. uh, question. I don't know. If this is actually far and soon from a subscriber, unless you know who it is, Adam. Uh, what's the best thing of being a professional footballer? Best thing. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't. Most people would say money, but I don't do it for the money. I I love. I love the game, mm. so it, even if I didn't get paid, I'd still do. Is it not the, is it not the birds, George? I was gonna say birds, yeah. What's your favourite <laughs> one? I quite like the woodpecker, but <laughs> I'm more of a magpie myself. <laughs> the, the, the chicks, the the beauties, <laughs> the um no, but the, the, the clunges crawling into you when you are a professional football player. You see, thing is though, you know when you go to like nightclubs and they always say, "So what do you do then?" You go, "I'm a footballer." How many times I've used that on holiday? <laughs> <laughs> so do you not think that like people like me spoilt it for people who actually are a footballer because like, Blath has gone, fuck off. I've actually got a card with uh, a picture of my face and it goes crawly down football player. Like, oh my god. Can what? you send it me so I can... <laughs> <laughs> I'll He's make you one. Right now. I, I will actually make you one. What, what football team do you want? Chelsea. Uh, no, no, I want something really... Realistic. Like, funny looking name. I want my name Newport to be something like Stan... Stan Winklebottom. <laughs> oh, George. Should I say you're from Anzi Makalov? So, yes. Just say so you're rich. Yeah. yeah. Uh, George, have you made... I want to ask you this. Have you made one of your own uh, Ultimate Team cards yet? No, I haven't. No. Oh, you should. Uh, George, get me a picture after this and I'll do you up one. Do your man hey, the match card. Hey, yeah. You do one, eh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, do, <laughs> just for you, George, you baby. He hasn't shut up about <laughs> him for the past he's couple of weeks. He's giving him a template to do it now. He thinks he's like fucking panic <laughs> or something. I've actually been offered the job of content manager for Yoast GFX. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh yeah, there's uh, a question. This is a fairly random... Oh no, is it your question? Oh wait, this is kind of based football. This is a really random one. Uh, what's your favourite boots that you've ever had? Favourite boots? Yeah. Well, I've actually got like three or four pairs of boots at the moment. <laughs> I've got... um. Custom made, you know the microchip boots. I've got two pairs custom made. Microchip. So, May I ask what that is? Yeah. It's um basically, I uh I have to do an hours of running in it to calculate uh calculate my fitness and stuff like that, and then I put it in before every game and I I put it into my uh, my laptop, and it just shows me how much I run in the game, how many touches of the ball I had, stuff like that. So um, how can how can it tell when you've touched the ball? It's, it's, I have no idea, but it's, it's just a chip. It's no, like you could have had him on. You could have just said it with like a proper chip, like a micro, you know, like chips you put in the microwave. I was waiting for you to say <laughs> that. I never knew well, that where, come out. <laughs> where does the like whereabouts in the boot? So, go so you you know you have the boot, and then you have like the padding at the bottom where your foot actually goes. It's underneath yeah. there, isn't it? You, you take that out and you put it in there. All oh, right. Yeah, you see, like, your running shoes, your your cross trainers, they've yeah. had them for a while. Yeah, all your Nike, uh, uh, Luna ones and stuff like that. They've always had them in, and it's like it's called Nike Plus. And what you yeah. do is you have like you have something around your wrist, and it communicates. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, but they've been out for a while. Me. I think I think the ones in the boots now are much more like well, especially yours. Oh, for the wristband. Yeah, they're much more advanced now. I think in boots because obviously you can buy these 
I, I think actually I bet them boots are really dear because Nike Plus, tr- you know, like cross trainers and like the thing that you you wear. It's about fucking. Yeah, it must the, be these... like t- 150. So I bet yours like a fucking ridiculous. These Adidas without custom made it like 220 pounds so uh i wouldn't want to know what they are have with you got custom. your name on it anywhere have you got like i have got george stock kennedy seven have you wicked yeah so i suppose that you being a footballer didn't have to pay from george no i might i'm sponsored by adidas so Ooh, Ooh. really <laughs> i want to ask yeah. how did that come how did that come well, when are then? you when you when are you doing a commercial with leo messi and robin <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, hopefully soon. But th- how does the contract? My, I just had to get my uh, my agent just gave me a list of <laughs> my, different... my agent. <laughs> oh, stop it, Jim. George, um, <laughs> you know them them Adidas ones. Is it them yeah. ones what Messi wears? Them really it, really light ones. He, yeah, but he's got them in like uh, yellow, and I didn't like the yellow ones, so I got I've got I mean, a. I like red top, and white. I mean we. It, at work, we sell like I think they're like B grade, and they're like 150 quid. And I think yeah. A the ones that you wear, which are like. God, fucking... when you said that, like 200 quid on a boot, I used to go nuts, right? When I used to play in girls, I used to spend like 60 quid on a pair of gloves. I used to think mm. that was a lot, and then about. Well, Dan, you did get boots. you did get offered like. Oh yeah, do you know about this, George? Yeah, he was in yeah, the call. I was in the call. He's in the call. Yeah, I, I the, believe him. The... I I believe him. It's true I... though. That's the thing. Bullshit. It's actually true. It might have been 200, but are you sure you want, like, Monopoly money or something? May have been, but I don't know. But it is true, honest to God. Fuck Dan! I can't believe you don't believe me that I play for my academy, anyway. I'm so gutted about that. I'm, I'm proud of that moment that I got into there and played the full two seasons, and then my team fell in, and then I had to drop out. But, uh... It's made better, Kevin, and then you got thrown out. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I can't believe you don't believe me, to be honest, but anyway. I'll ask you this. Um... Are you ready? Yeah. Do you like brown sauce? <laughs> no. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> do you like I'm brown sauce, or is it like the fact you don't like HP, or do you like barbecue sauce? Because there's some several flavors of I, brown I, sauce. I don't like brown sauce. Look at I, I hate oh, brown wait, sauce. I could have. Do you anything. like brown sauce, Dan? I don't like brown sauce, but I like barbecue sauce. Bob's I, li- I like I could barbecue. Have that think. Yeah. yeah. Be- because, uh, like, you know, Tweaky uh, Adam, he, yeah. he gets like sauces, but he's got to buy. The, the 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 proper ones. He can't get like an you know like an Asda or a Tesco or like their own make. He has to buy the dearer brands because he just doesn't. You know like brown sauce is like brown sauce. Daddy's brown sauce or something. You know what I mean? It's like it slightly tastes a little bit different. He's, he's got to buy like HP. No, I have to do that as well. I, I can't like I can't have Sainsbury's own ketchup. No, I I, I think Little do one of the nicest ketchups ever. Little or Heinz is the ones I prefer. <laughs> like a fine wine. <laughs> it only costs seventeen p as well. You know, it does. this is what Adam does. He gets it. Look, listen, I've got some brown sauce and somebody will pop off the lid and go. Hmm, the aroma. Oh, this is a nineteen nineteen ninety five tomato. Start shaking it around. <laughs> he's he's <laughs> getting it in his mouth and he goes. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I only. Uh, I only actually first had it this year because I'm a really cheap student now and I want to just get everything as cheap as possible. Well, it makes sense, doesn't it? So I never had it before, but like, it's actually pretty nice. I've got another question for you. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard the term of this, but have you ever given somebody a stinky Hitler before? I have heard of the stinky Hitler before. <laughs> Is it when you, uh, you, you reach around? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Have you uh... ever given... Because I mean, I mentioned it to football to a few at like mums and dads, like jokingly, and they'd never heard of it. They were like, "What the fuck?" I'm like, "You've never heard of a fucking." You said that boot. to a woman, Dave. <laughs> no, one. Of, I, I bent over to get like Keelan's boots, and somebody fucking like tried to wedge in me, and I said, I, I, and I turned around and I went, "You carry on, I'll fucking put my finger in my ass and stinky it you." And, <laughs> and he, his his wife heard and went, and she started to gip. And she's like, never say that again. She's going bright red and she's like, proper gipping. I'm like, what? What does gipping mean? What does gipping mean now? Gipping, you know, you know, like, like. Oh, being sick. Like, a yeah. Kegging. Keg? Keg. That. <laughs> like, oop. Kegging. Kegging when you pull somebody's No, kegging. 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 What the fuck's that <laughs> That's mean? <gimping. laughs> it's like if you're kegging, like. Do you know what that is? That's like gimping for you. That's why I call get kegging. <laughs> no, gimping. That's when you wear, like, a tight leather suit or something. What did you, you call wear, it? Like, a it's gipping. Gipping, yeah, that's what we call kegging. Fucked up, you lot. I'm telling oh, you. yeah. I, I, swear it's called, I swear it's called gag. Gagging. Yeah, gagging as well. Gag- but obviously, yeah, some people use it on a sexual term, so it's kind of controversial yeah. if we mention that. But, um. <laughs> kegging, yeah. Fucked up, you Welsh ones. Oh, what, right. what about you, say bloody 
gimping, wherever you flaming <laughs> call it. Not gimping, fuck me, do not say I've been gimping. <laughs> or something, I, I hear something to you now, I've been gimping. People were looking <laughs> and rock that. <laughs> Alright then, uh, let's move on from gimping and gagging. Oh, gimp <laughs> and gagging and all that rubbish. Um, so we're going to go on to YouTube. You do make YouTube videos as well. So other than just playing football, he is a YouTube phenomenal. Um, so With how... Richard, hey, by the way. Huh? Is it 1K now? 1,000 subscribers as well. So he's... Mm. I wanted to extend on that, but I didn't know what to actually say. But um, <laughs> I want to ask, how did you get involved with YouTube at the start? Obviously, you kind of concentrating on this football thing. Was it just a stumble across or some um, of your buddies at Crawley Town mentioned it? Or? No, it was because um, I was still at, I was doing school at the time. Yeah. Some of my mates were talking about some YouTube videos. And uh, I, like, I just watched a few. And uh, I think Mr. Techers HD did a video on how to make YouTube videos. So uh, I just tried it out. And um, just got into it, and I think my first video, I a bit, made a bit of a fool myself, didn't I, Dave? Yes. Oh, <laughs> so, uh, oh I, just I, I the called... air jobs. <laughs> I don't I think called... it, yeah. <laughs> air jobs, classic. I don't think it's a mistake. I think you know, like everybody's first videos, you're so nervous and you don't know what. Yeah. To... What did you do? May I ask? Because I'm yet to see this I, first. I, I um, I, I've meant... deleted it now, but oh. I said like my favourite YouTubers are like air jobs. <laughs> air jobs. <laughs> <laughs> So um, no, but then I like I got a few uh, likes and that, but like I just had people like my video, and then I got more views and views, and then I started talking to bigger YouTubers mm. like you guys and like others, oh. and um, oh, I just oh, I've got two in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> have you used the, the Have you used this? To, have you used being a professional footballer to your advantage yet? Like, um, of being a YouTuber, say, so, oh, I'm a professional footballer as well. No, not really. Like, when I do YouTube videos, I don't try and get my football related into it sort of thing. Like, yeah. I, I know, but from me doing football, it makes me so tired and, like, it it doesn't make me want to make them, but the times are where I do want to do it. I, I do make YouTube videos, but I just don't normally have the time to mm. upload it, commentate over it, edit it, and stuff like that. But um, hopefully now that I'm with, like, a player that, doesn't have to be home like a manager does. Uh, I should be able to get more editing and stuff like that out. So hopefully I'll be able to do a bit more uh, uploading now. Mm. Awesome. Uh, Adam, you can ask this one. If you're at the right parts part of the questions. All the que <laughs> You mix up all the questions. I know, we like answered that. all the football ones. We were on the uh, YouTube Ooh. ones now. Literally, okay. ask, ask the one, right, which has your name by it. Where did your name come from? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so it's it's George Seven K FIFA, but it's got five A's on it. Why five? So um, th it, again, it was uh Mr. Takers HD watched this video, and uh, before like I set everything up, I got Camtasia to work, so I made a YouTube account, but I didn't actually make it, and I went out with some friends, so um, I come back and I see it's all loaded up, and I just needed to type in the name, and uh, I actually typed in five A's. From a drunken mistake, I think. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, is, uh, it's is just... George Seven K uh, FIFA actually taken? I, uh, I have no idea. I I think it just... sounds like a drunken thing, though. Cause you go, if you say George Seven K FIFA, it sounds like <laughs> drunk. I, I don't know what happened to me, but I think it just shows that I like FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Or the letter raise. <laughs> oh, that channel doesn't exist either. <sighs> oh my God! You could have been YouTube famous. <laughs> well, if, if he needs a new channel to get partnered on, we all know where he's going to be going. <laughs> Actually, if you're this listening to this, Superman. create the channel and then bribe George and make him hate. <laughs> I'll just oh, go that'd be good, wouldn't it? Having a professional footballer on your side as well. <laughs> Whoa! I, I remember when Dave first set up his YouTube and I was like, oh, why did you go from Mr. Sambuka Man to the Sambuka Man? He goes, some bastard already took Sambuka Man. I look on the page, it's like a Barnsley. I'm like, sure that wasn't you, Dave. <laughs> She's like, oh, it might be been actually. I think I forgot my password. Yeah, it won me. I was like, yeah. Oh, and the then channel is no longer available, Sammy. You start again if you want. I don't. I don't want to start again. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, someone okay, radically people, went to me. Anyone wants to start up some Booker man, but for a, a fan side. I, fan yeah, I think this may be a racist comment, but someone said to me today, you should change your new username and get rid of the Welsh. You would have a lot more viewers. 
I don't know whether to take that as a racist comment. Well, or... you know, I have Irish Welsh Celt, even though I'm not actually Welsh. I, it's like a clan thing, and I've had a number of people going, I sub to you because you're Welsh, and I'm like, sweet. <laughs> and now, what a moment yeah, when you have an Irish to accent. <laughs> it's admitted to him, people. He's not actually Welsh. <laughs> Unsub from him. Uh, come, Imagine you just see the viewers me. just drop. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, okay, we have got one more. Question: Unless uh, Sammy has got any more random ones, I've, uh... <laughs> you can have think. You, ever, you think? If it, you ever, you know, like uh, um, older show. Obviously, <laughs> facilities aren't as good at um, at Crawley. Has there ever been like dog shit on floor and balls gone off it, and you thought, "Fuck it, I'm going to cross it and see if somebody heads it." <laughs> um, um, I don't think it's ever been to that. Like it's <laughs> happened to that, but there has been like. So, it is all shot and how has been like needles on uh, the training really? pictures you know yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like Bosnia give a football and come back with AIDS <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I'm definitely going to look for dog uh, dog shit and try crossing the ball and try to get someone to head it I think that would just be funny <laughs> oi Pablo <laughs> cross <laughs> no I, I won't ever do it to him <laughs> he'll kill me <laughs> do, you want, do you want to tell people about your relationship with Pablo Mills uh, well Pablo was the person. Who is Pablo in Mills? Oh, well, he was until the uh, the fight. But basically, oh yes, I remember that. Oh, he was yeah. talking about this. Explain, explain this. What happened? Oh, is this? But wait, what? So basically, Crawley were playing Bradford at Bradford, and uh, a fight broke out at the end. What? Pablo... Why did it? What? What it break? Was it because obviously? What? what what's I think so, so something was said um, to Pablo. So, like a racist comment was involved, but. Fucking big power was like, I'm gonna destroy you! And whipped out his <laughs> wanger and like, <laughs> like whipped it round one of the like next like on Ghost Rider, you know, Ghost Rider, and like pulls him off, <laughs> like, uppercuts him like on Mortal Kombat. And he go, ah. uh, uh, sort of, yeah. <laughs> and then it just escalated from there. But then that, that's it, basically. Was you on TV? Yeah, he got sent. It was after the game had finished, but he got sent off. Such a bummer, that, isn't it? Was that, is that, was that like... And is that, did they take the captaincy off and then George, was they? Yeah, they took the captaincy off and... Now you are in line for getting it, I'm assuming, <laughs> then. From past well, experiences, captain well, reserves... No, it's just my, my big uh, reputation. So he, he kind of looks head. after you now, doesn't he, George? It, yeah, he, he's like, when I first joined, he was the first person to talk to me. And he just like looked after me sort of thing well him and Matt Tubbs were and then Matt Tubbs went to Bournemouth and um so like I was with the manager Steve Evans and like I, I used to talk to Pablo a lot and then Steve Evans obviously moved to uh, Rotherham the other day mm. so I had nowhere to live until Pablo oh went. you were living with him weren't you yeah, Pablo was like, "Come and live with me." So now I'm. Did did, did they did he have to do it or did he like? Oh, no, he, he didn't have to. Like I I could have stayed at my house, but it would have just been a long journey there and back to training every day. So um, I think Pablo just did it out of goodwill. And I heard you have a bit of a thing for Pablo's younger daughter. What? You said she's on your list, George. <laughs> Wait, Don't may I ask how old she is first? <laughs> Mike, what did you just say you are? It's true. She's 15. Don't, oh my good God, Adam. Wash your mouth out with soap, you dirty, perverted boy. <laughs> That's terrible, that is, Adam. I've lost, I've lost even so much respect. Yeah, I didn't have many anyway, much for him anyway, but even the bit I had, he's gone. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> So it's like it's like, it's like it's, it's exactly like the Queen losing respect for you when Dave loses respect. That's right. I'm by the Queen, but I'm going to roll with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. Right. Um, I was going to answer one more question, but we are kind of going way over time, so we're going to go on some topics. But if you want to answer it, the question was, what do you do other than YouTube and just f playing for Crawley Town every couple of days? Like, um. What what do I do other from that? Yeah, FIFA, just chill like. And rent the stores just... with dogs in your hands and carry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like dedication. He's dedication. a big dog enthusiast. We've had some dedicated people, for example, Daniel Capillaro. You want to come on again? A couple of guests Legend. want to come back again, but we've never had someone to run down to a store, get a charger, and just to come on you. Exactly. What a star. 
he's gonna be a he's gonna be big one day, and I'm gonna buy him on FIFA Manager Mode, and I'm gonna make him into the <laughs> next big thing. Uh, and George is gonna be sorting us out with free tickets whenever we want to go see Crawley, aren't you, George? Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah, everyone, come down. Oh, well, can you imagine <laughs> now the whole just YouTube community just come down to Crawley? <laughs> That'd be mental. <laughs> right. I'd have you a T-shirt with your face on saying <laughs> <laughs> with, with Pablo's, and then like a picture of, like I'd have how can I say it? I'd have like. Pablo, and then like a horse's dick where it coming out of his shorts or something like make it. <laughs> oh yeah, George. As well, when you get your like squad number next season at Crawley, we'll have to all get the jerseys and get like Kennedy on the back of it. Yeah, that's yeah. what I would think. It's sick. Uh, yeah, that'd be we'll good. all go up to like Game Fest or something with him on. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere Kennedy. <laughs> oh my god, that's what we should have done with our sweet patch shirts. We should have just had Kennedy on the back. <laughs> Kennedy on the back. Oh of yeah, it. then we could get him the. Yeah, we need to make you a shirt. The moment you get that into a first team, right, Do we will George, make a shirt a and no send it down to you. Or just give you money and you go get a printed. <laughs> I'm, I'm up for that. Do you have a squad number at the moment, George? Um, well, because I'm in the uh, reserves, it, it like it differs a lot. But I tried to get number seven, but I'm, I'm one of them players that wing back, like, because I'm right back, I have to be number two or three. But because seven's my favourite number, if seven's three, I'll take number seven. But to be honest, I, I'll take any number. Just seven number was my favourite number. You don't yeah. often see wing backs with number seven, though, do you? No, you don't. But it's, I think it's a superstition thing. Like just because it's my favourite number, I wanted it. But if if I can get 27, 77, 37, 47, anything with seven in it. Is there a, is there a player in real life that kind of really like you, you inspire to be? You know what I mean? Like, um. Gary Probably not, not necessarily like the most skillish they're allowed, the famous, Neville. but just a player. No, like Martin Keown. I know he weren't really a right back, but he was solid. He was, he was at times. He, he was like he's always been my idol, and to to get a picture done with him was just mental. So um, I can remember yeah. when I was a kid, I was like pa- um, Paolo Maldini. Pablo Mills. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, got him up brain. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Paolo Maldini. Fuck him. Yeah. No, that, that's like any right back, I I just watch football and th- like you have to do a bit of performance analysis, so you just watch what the right back does. Mm. So, uh, no, but Singwa, he's actually quite a good right back to watch because he runs a lot. John so, O'Shea or anyone like that at the top of your list? Gary Neville, <laughs> West Brown? No, um, <laughs> no, not really. Lujny was the old Arsenal player. He was rubbish. <laughs> he's um, no, nah, any right back to be fair, I like watching. So, um. Uh, yeah, any. Awesome. Uh, what we do now, guys, we will move on to some questions. Uh, just do the fact that not questions, topics, because we have just kind of. I'm a think we've drained you out unless you've got more stories to tell us. And we are. Um, I'll have a think. Ooh. Oh, all oh, right, you'll have a think. I thought you said you got one more. But anyway, this uh, crack onto another topic. We have got uh, a topic. Euro 2012, ladies and gentlemen. We got this just around the corner. It's coming out on Tuesday. 24th and it's been a lot of details being released uh, such as a new uh, expen- uh, what's it called? Ex- expansion expansion or, mode or, or no expedition mode expedition mode there's been stuff about like the trophies and whatnot. so what we do we go on to uh, this exhibition mode thing and see what the actual lowdown is there is a video you can check this out on Sweet Patch or on YouTube uh, what is uh, you start off uh, by creating your own player, or you actually uh, pick up your favourite player, and I believe this is very similar to World Tour. I know I'm saying first time if you play FIFA Street on World Tour, it's apparently very similar. Uh, you start off with a starting eleven, which are just generated uh, from different nations, which is uh, it's kind of confusing, seeing it's a Euro game, and I thought you kind of go with one nation. But it's kind of just this ultimate game thing. But you have to... It is literally the exact same as that. Which I'm kind of disappointed on. Because of this world tour. Basically, you play someone. If you beat them, you get to pick a player. But then it works out from... You pick someone who's... Uh, if you beat them once, you get like a reserve player. If yeah, you beat them twice, twice, you get yeah. a sub. And then you beat them three times, you get like yeah. first team. I'm, really dis- I'm g- kind of glad they got this thing in there. But I'm disappointed at the same time. I agree. I do. I'm a bit we'll, we'll go on to like why they haven't added stuff in in just a moment because there's been an article released on that as well. But uh, like you see, I was like, yes, this Euro game coming up. Oh yeah, George, you're gonna be getting this Euro game, or you're like, nah, I'll play real football. Um, uh, yeah, I'll probably invest in it. I love all FIFA games. Mm. So, but yeah. well, I'm really disappointed because it's like, oh, this Euro game, like 2012. 
Rio 2008, World Cup 2006. All those games were awesome. And now they just brought out this expansion thing, which doesn't really have much in it. Which really disappoint me. But they have got this thing called the Mosique. Which is... Yeah, that looks a bit gay. Yes. It... I, I like their, like... Like, you know, their lines are always like, let's be Phil 12 and all this kind of stuff, right? Like, be the 12th man, these kind of stuff. They end the video with, like, finish your mosaic. I've noticed they've like, actually not... changed the guy. Um, I'll, I'll play it now. They've actually changed the guy's voice, I believe. Um, at the end. Let me find it. You're not going to... You're going to play down the thing? Yeah. Wow. We, we could get done for copyright here, Dan. Uh, you won't. Yeah. Don't stop until you complete the mosaic. Yeah, don't stop until you complete the mosaic. That's like, like you're, a you're like an artist or something. Like you got to pull. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's it's kind of like this thing up ceiling. Win as well. It's not even. It's literally what? a plaque with a ball on it. But the thing stop I like. Stop being ungrateful. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like I that mosaic thing is instead of what they had before. Before they had that passport thing, I thought that was class. Like where when you beat a team in. Um, in like your you had this little passport and their like country stamp would go in, so you had to like beat everyone and you get to get stamps from all the teams like around the world. And stuff. I thought that was class. Yeah. Well, to give this uh, with this uh, expand expenditure pack thing, where it is, um, it's kind of, they've give, they've kind of given it a bit. It's a lot quite difficult. I I watched a video on it and what they say you're starting off all countries and there's only roads. It's literally a road you gotta go to, to get to it. And for example, if our country, if you want to go to, say, Germany to, uh, uh, what other countries to the right? Poland. Poland. And if it wasn't a road there, you can't actually go there. You've got to go to a different country, which then needs to that country. Which is kind of good, they kind of extend in it. Which I don't... It, it's like, Sounds like you're booking a fucking holiday to yeah. me. <laughs> but the only problem <laughs> I've noticed, I, then is that the problem, all depending on how good you are at the game. Is that you know if you don't win enough games, your um, road will get destroyed to a different country. Huh. So you kind of what if you end up getting stuck in one country? Because then you got stuck in like Germany or or etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, whatnot. Oh, but well, I don't think I don't think I don't think you get stuck, Dan. I think it's just like you win a game and you move on. Uh, I don't know. It, it wasn't explained like that. That was the only thing. It was uh, kind of just like oh, if you don't win enough games, a road gets deleted. So I was like, oh, okay. But yeah, it's kind of, you work your way around. So this is just, I think, uh, I got a feeling they've added that in just to kill the time now for FIFA 13 to come around on the road when it actually comes along uh, for the release date, which is, I'm assuming, o uh, October 1st, something like that again. I wouldn't be surprised. Or September 30th. But that was basically that ex uh, expan expansion mode thing. It isn't nothing really special. It's literally, you start off, it looks good. But it's trying, just thinking, in my opinion, it's just a bit lazy what they've actually done. They could have done so much more. They've literally just gone, right, what happened in FIFA Street? Okay, we'll chuck that in Euro as well. That's what it looks like in my personal opinion. And then, I think they should have brought out FIFA Street next year, really. I think they should have concentrated on Euro Yeah. a bit more. Plus, they could, have then... made, uh, they could have made FIFA Street a lot more better as well compared to what it is now. Because we can see Adam had a rant video on it as well. We've talked about a rant. I was trying to get them to like shape it up a bit. Yeah, but then they could have done this last year, uh, next year. Because for example, if they actually send people down, right, we'll go down, uh, test FIFA Street and whatnot. Yeah, fair enough. I and mean, if people went, right, we want more online game modes, get some like betas out and whatnot. They could have brought out a brilliant game next year, and then we could add an awesome Euro game now this year mm. instead of FIFA Street, like just around the corner, which. My opinion was kind of a fail. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't buy it. A couple of people didn't buy it. The only people that really bought it that you've seen was the ones who um, <coughs> have made a series on it on YouTube. Yeah, there ain't many. The, no, there ain't many series has lasted. Like, Adam, you cut out halfway through. We Peel yeah, is just finishing was, his. Now. Yeah, well, he likes we Peel must be thinking. Thank fuck for yeah, that. Yeah, because that's what I was talking to him when he was like, he was like, I just wanted to get it done. Like, yeah, he was saying that. He said like, oh yeah, thank God, is it? Like, in his but commentary. But like, the thing is, like, I dropped it because nobody was enjoying it. Every time I put a video, there was comments like, where's FIFA 12 and stuff. Yeah. It was so like, it's strange. Mm -hmm. Like, they, as like George has said, they should have brought it out next year. And uh, like, I was hoping no, but for like, a good game. It, if they just included everything on single player that on multiplayer, they'd be sorted. Hmm. 
Because it, it, it was rather boring. The, the demo, I think... I think the demo summed up the whole game, which you was going to buy. I think you could do literally everything in that demo. Not really. But, you, yeah, you are just maxed up with certain skills... And whatnot, but then you could just kind of go off and do kick. But sure, you could say you could say that like any FIFA demo, then Dan. You could say like, oh, you're you're able to play the game. That's what you're doing in the real game. So yeah, but they could have made that game a lot better, I think. But anyway, Euro 2012, we kind of meant to go on to a say FIFA Street. Uh, this is the reason why uh, there isn't a full game, and the reason why there isn't any qualifiers. Uh, we was kind of discussing this before, right? So if you want to bring your comments back in, guys, I'll be appreciated. Uh, the reason why they actually didn't bring out a full game is because they felt the gameplay was good enough. But they actually thought it was really good. Uh, so they decided not to concentrate on that. Nah, they decided to just concentrate on the variety of game modes that people will enjoy. Uh, and then, plus it, we, uh, we are so close to whatever comes next. Uh, whatever that means. So, I think... What the thing is, they what they wanted to do was they want to make maximum profit with minimum investment. Yeah. And this is the way to do it. It is, and I got a feeling that people will still buy it as well, um, because... I'll, I'll buy it just because I do YouTube, but if I wasn't... Yeah. I'm looking forward to it, I'm just hoping, I'm hoping it's not going to be as bad as we thought. Yeah. Because with the street, that was such a fucking letdown. Well, you never played it, though, Dave, so you can't really I judge it. I did. I yeah, I played, I played, you know, I downloaded it and I played it and it were alright, and I thought, wow, this is going to be wicked, and then I was like, it's so repetitive. Well, this was like average FIFA. <coughs> no, no. I, I can, FIFA. I play it constantly. It's my favorite game. I, There's I only thing though with uh, FIFA. Um, I found with FIFA, I think I can do something different every game. Um, yeah. I can try something different. I can try so a different, different goal. Teams you, you can get. There's so many players that you can yeah. try to find. You you can't get bored of FIFA because say you get bored of a team, then you, like I'm I'm getting into manager mode. That that's just through watching YouTube videos like. Um, Dan's and there's like propane games that like do manager mode series and it just gets you into it sort of thing and like I'm more into manager mode than ultimate team but then I can go on ultimate team and get into that instead of well I think what's good as well like with FIFA because compared to FIFA Street I know we kind of compare in the both games but there's like so many different game types for example you say you just went from ultimate team to manager mode you can play manager mode and if you go oh god I'm getting a bit bored now I'll pop back on ultimate team and if you say you get a bit bored of that, you can either pop back or you can go play clubs. You can do online yeah. team play. Like with FIFA, I think you can just, just the main game of FIFA, you can just do something different every time. Like with clubs, like I enjoy clubs anyway. It could be the same again and again, but I would still enjoy it. Plus, something, di something I say the same again, but something always uh, different happens. And plus with clubs, you always get our... Uh, like a uh, nice friendly vibe thing that oh yeah and going there for a nice chat now compared to like sweating it's it like, out on it's like, FIFA. It's like going to old folks home but for younger people. Yeah, <laughs> it is literally. So we meet up in the dressing room today, lads. Yeah. Well, I love yeah. yeah, like that's what I like about clubs. I like about like actually talking to people and stuff rather than not just the club experience. If you know what I mean. Mm, I love the club experience. I just think they need to improve on that next year. Joe, but we will talk about that anyway in the future. But. Compared to FIFA Street, there's so much different vast, no, uh, yeah, so much difference. So you can, you can't exactly get bored. Cause it's like, like manager mode can last for ages. You got 15 seasons on that thing, and I, I've done 15 seasons on it, and I haven't got bored at all. I've uh, changed size, I've changed leagues. I could play the same league throughout, and I still won't get bored. But it's just, it's enjoyable. But anyway, and the reason why they haven't got qualifiers. Would anyone like to guess? Even though I kind of talked to you guys already about this. So, George, would you like to guess? <laughs> um, I, I have no idea. No idea. All right, then. Adam, do you, did I tell you, Adam? Yes. Uh, I'm going to have a guess. I think it's they studied all the games played. And Go they on, found yes. Did, yep. They, did, they, didn't, they, didn't, they just went straight to the tournament. They didn't do qualifiers. Yes, you are hit the nail what on the guess. head. What a what guess. What a guess. What was the official statement from them was when we were doing the concept for Euro, we gathered all the stats and uh, see what people were playing in FIFA. So from the World Cup game and also the Euro game in 2008, so you see not many people played the qualifiers. So they jumped directly to the finals. In my opinion, that's bollocks. That's bull, yeah. Like, how, how hard is that to implement though? It's not like it's going to take them like all day. To yeah, because... Put that what, um, I can't, I'm not percent on how, is the Euros the same as the World Cup, Bennett? Like, how it's set up, is it? Yeah, yeah. So, 
it can't be that much difference. Like, it can't be that much date there. And so you should, they should do a setting where you can do qualifications. Like, yeah, you should be able to pick because the, it's you'll kind of play half the game basically if you just go straight to the finals. Because you're gonna like, play I'm gonna the be, last sixteen. Yeah, yeah, and that's I'm gonna joke. be doing a series on YouTube for this, right? And for manager mode, I do like three uh, games an episode. So I'm just thinking, like, oh, I can't exactly do that because I'll be done in about four <laughs> episodes if I did three yeah. games of thing. And that's even if I get through. So it literally, I have to be right after one game an episode and then I get, like, enough for, like, a nice 20-episode uh, series or something. Um, So it's like, why? Because it's so much fun to try and build your team from scratch. Plus, how many people of teams that haven't qualified, if you think about it, like, in the... Uh, Euros, yeah, stuff. like you have Wales and Scotland, for instance. Yeah, like right? I would like to try and get Wales qualified, right? Because when they got a decent side anyway on FIFA now, <laughs> well, if you think that they have compared to the past years, if you compare them to whatnot, they got like Bale, Ramsey, but Hennessy. they're not even on the team, though, are they? No, they're not on the game, so maybe that's the reason why, as well. This is kind of their bit of thing, oh, we can't do that, and it's kind of the Kevin their ass of what well, you said, Adam, of uh, uh make investment or something whatever the term you said uh, maybe that's it well because we can only use the teams which are in the game but they got but actually no that's completely wrong because Ukraine and that who actually are hosting it in Poland or are they on the game yeah but they're hosts so obviously they're going to be on it yeah I know that's what I mean so as why I was on about that it doesn't really matter but uh, <laughs> Dan you're talking shit okay <laughs> yeah, Dan, what the fuck you on about? I'm, well, I'm, getting... <laughs> I'm no, I literally didn't. I lost even like I wasn't even listening there, Dan. You were just shouting. It, it was, it was good. Uh, it was good what I was on about. I was talking about the qualifiers, but I think they should have put it in there. But that's kind yeah, of yeah. They should put the qualifiers in there. Yeah, because it's because it's not really a Euro game anymore, is it? It's more, it's more just like playing, like. Just the final sort yeah. of thing. It's like it's not even a game, is it? Basically, you can download basically? the tournament. It's half a game, isn't it? You can download the yeah, tournament. Yeah, it's half a game if you want on Creation Center. You can actually download the foot that Euro twenty twelve tournament. I thought I'd let you know. You just don't get all the nice fancy graphics and stuff with it. <coughs> but still, you know, it saves you some pennies, won't it? Yeah, no, it saves you sixteen quid, which is quite expensive in my opinion for what you're getting. Sixteen quid for only like six games with a tournament yeah. you can get bored of that as well like I can see if you're just playing the same game over and over again you're just going to get thing bored is, though, you can't even do like a series on on YouTube six games six yeah, episodes no, that's what I mean like as I said I'm going to be doing a series and it's literally uh, you play three games in the uh, groups and then you got last 16 quarters semis final and that's what that's eight games you just have to live comment or something down to get it longer yeah you have to. It might, it might be better off streaming it. Yeah, you could stream that in one night. That'd be cool. But actually, you could stream it in an hour. I wouldn't be surprised. Dan's got an idea. I got an idea, lads. That's why I'm doing. Dan goes viral. But anyway, guys, if you want to read the full art article, that'll be on Eurogamer. Um, if I meant put a link in, uh, I doubt I will. But anyway, it's on Eurogamer, just search it up, and it's the, one of the latest topics out there. But uh, I, to be honest, I'm disappointed with what they bring it out and what I really wanted, you could say. Um, we was going to talk about FIFA 13 career mode stuff, such as like wish, wish lists, but we'll kind of go there, like go more into that into the future and um, whatnot, because a lot of stuff, if they put it in, does look awesome. And plus, we're going in about an hour and 15 now, so we kind of don't want to keep. Blowing yeah. along because I got a crap up low connection. If I mentioned. But, should we crack some real life football? Soon we got a professional footballer in you. Yes, why not? But, okay. What do you think of uh, Chelsea and Barcelona? Um, great win. Uh, didn't expect it, thought it'd be a draw or a loss. But uh, Ashley Cole was superb. Man of the match card went for 245k. I mean, seriously, though. I mean, a lot of people could say that Ashley Coles is past it, but man, he had such, such a good game. I was so happy. Mm, I, I the Chelsea got the... Uh, they definitely got their uh, technique, like, the, what's it called? Uh, formation right. And how well, you know what? With... 
I was watching nice. uh, uh, Revista La Liga and they were on about this team who I forgot what it is now. They played um, they played against Barca and they basically like they put one guy up front and they packed the midfield out, yeah. Yes. And it was frustrating for for Barca. They ended up winning, but the Barca ended up winning, but it was by quite a bit of luck. Do you know what I mean? Which generally yeah. you get these days, you know, when you're playing against like because every every good team's got a bit of luck. But um, and I, and they were saying on that, they were saying maybe they need to go for the same idea. It's just pack that midfield out and just make it so it's hard for Barca to play the kind of football they like. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you know, get Mikel in there. You know, people who can just break down. Uh, the thing is, play. you can't. You can't man mark Messi because no. all he'll do no, he'll but, just but go no stand point. out wide. Yeah. And he'll just take a player out of the game. Yeah, there's no point because there's, it's not like I mean, all right, I know a lot of people say they're a one man team, but they're not. They've got no. Iniesta, they've got Javi, you know, Sanchez, people I kinda agree with the term that you you're only as good as the people around him. Yeah, exactly. So for example, if you put Messi into I don't know, a championship side, he won't Argentina be as good. Argentina team. Yeah, he won't be as, as good as, like... Nah, nah, I'm not sure what he'd be like in the Premiership. Oh, yeah, we was discussing this earlier. We was on... I think it's too quick for him. I That's think it's the... Too physical, too physical for him. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree with Adam that it's too physical. I think the defenders are a lot more standing ground. He would ground. like it to be like, whoa, what the fuck? You know, because he'd get kicked. Mm. He would. He would just do beast against, like, low... The That's a, my, that, my example teams. of him having, like... What? Him on a cold Monday night away to Stoke, getting like shit kicked out of him yeah. by Hoof and fucking Shawcross. He would not like that. See, I hate the press when they go, Messi had a bad game against Chelsea. Like, say he did that a few years ago. They, what Chelsea did, they man marked him, and all he did was go stand out wide so it takes that player out of the game. It, he's done that so clever that he's just worked yeah. space for his that, own that's the only thing with like the the pundits and whatnot and they say a pro footballer and they've done like they play in similar posi- position to Messi like they want to have a clear they just say mm. oh Messi didn't score he hasn't had a good game yeah but, but being nice all the time into papers or on, tr- on you know on TV and that doesn't always get you the views they've got to be a bit controversial you know what yeah. I mean just- that's how it is, isn't it? You should see the Irish football opponents. They're way more controversial. They, I think on match today, a lot of the time, they're just like, they're very neutral. Like You can't, like, on the BBC, you got to stay neutral and whatnot, haven't you? On the Beeb. No, they yeah. don't. Well, you can't do much, really. Oh, I want to mention, right, to anyone that watched Formula 1 and watched it last week, uh, one of the fans on the BBC when it was live, when, like, BBC, uh, BBC is a lot better than Sky version. And I just found that funny when I was watching it. Brilliant. Um, what do you think? You What do you? You're a big um, fan of of a Formula well, One. Do you think of him nearly, nearly like doing, um, nearly cancelling Bahrain? Then you know. What you me? Think that's, yeah. What do you think? Um, about? What, I think. What that, was that all about? Anyway? What is this? A civil war going on in Bahrain? Yeah. In, in it's Bahrain. Rebels are trying to overthrow. You know what every fucking country is doing. It's like it must be like a fucking fashion act on us. Yeah. Well, the Arabs. Well, it's not the country. I kind of don't. Um, I think it should go there because Bahrain's an awesome track. Right? The pre- the president or whatever the the call him dictates whatever says that if they cancel it, you kind of emp- empire pir- yeah empowering, empowering the 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 rebels, which is a fair comment. Yeah. Because as soon as they go, hold on, that they've stopped that because of them. You know, well, they've stopped that because of rules. That means See? we are more powerful. That means yes. we can take over the. Yeah. So what else can they stop? And it's right, but. You've got to think of safety yeah, reasons. Yeah, well, um, just to mention as well with safety, uh, Bernie Eccleston, who's the FIA director and whatnot, he actually stated to the drivers and the uh, team, I can't remember the official name, like managers, basically just say, you can go home early if you want from practice just for safety reasons or be home, just, like back to the hotel before it gets dark. So it's kind of like... They... Hell, I mean, when somebody says like that to you, you must think to yourself, what the fuck am I here? Yeah, what are you doing here? But you got to realise, right, Bahrain racetrack is in the middle of nowhere. It isn't exactly like... No, well, that's not exactly the best thing. It's though, not exactly it? the best thing, but you got to feel like all the rebels are now going to be in the cities. Like, all in the city. Well, like, chilling out. Chilling like... in the city centre, but I think it should be there. Bahrain's an awesome track. It should just be there, but yeah, they should just be it... extra safe with, like, cautions and whatnot. But you've got to realise, right, uh, no one's going to kill the drivers. They drive in 200 miles per hour in a flipping car going around the track. <laughs> if someone goes in front of them, they're dead. You only have dead. the fat, the one in the fucking... Huh? 
You only have to fight next to... Oh my good god, there's about 500 creepers after me. You only have to fight in front of a fucking car. Like, it's not exactly that sturdy thing, is it? Yeah, well, oh uh, yeah, for, well, the only the nose and that would just snap off, but... Anyway, yeah, I think it should be there. I think it should. It's uh, I just think they should just take those extra safety precautions. And that's it, just play it safe. Just don't be, like, partying all night as they do after each race when they win. Just kind of <clears throat> tone it down a little bit thing. That's all it is. I think it should be there. Anyway, in general. But yeah. Am I the only one that likes Formula 1 in the, in this world? Ever yeah. in the country. In the yeah. country, yeah. But uh, out of Formula 1, and we've got some sport. No sport. Football, even. I know this is a bit off topic, but, but yeah, I opened a pack the other day. And Alan Shearer pops out, and it was his face on the card. It was unidentified, but it had Alan Shearer's face. I don't know. It looked really like Alan Shearer, but I wasn't too sure We've, if it was um, him or not. We haven't talked that... about this, but somebody had Southgate as well. Yeah, I had uh, Ian Wright on one. Like, how? That's... How is that had... possible? I'm not being funny, but I had Keith Lemon on a, pit, on a card. <laughs> I mean... Sam, you can... Yeah. Oh, that's because apparently they're talking about... Um, like, that's why I think the Legends all, uh, mode would be pretty Legends good. Thing. I think that Legends mode, which I'm assuming they, we've been talking about that they're going to bring it, I think it would be really good if they brought it in. But not as like the same part as normal FIFA. Like, not the same part as FIFA Ultimate Team, if you hear me. Like, little expansion of FIFA Ultimate Team again. Or, like, you limit to yourself. If you bought the Legends side, you can only play against people who have Legend teams. Etc. Do you get me? Well, yeah. Then, well, Dan, then you're saying that's like saying, oh, if you have informs in your team, you can only play against. Informs. Oh, unless. I, oh, yeah. Actually, I kind of, did, I kind of making it out that uh, if they, they all go end up being like 99 rated. But I don't think they will. Unless, unless they have like certain specialities, like traits and whatnot, which you can't get on normal players. Um, I don't think it should be the same. But if it's just like normal, like if it was a normal card, but it got his name on it. Uh, for example, Alan Shearer, just got his name and whatnot on it. Yeah, fair enough. They can mix it up. I don't take mind. Actually, yeah. I think that'd be a really good idea if they brought out, like... Uh, make it so it's not too rare, but make it so you don't get him... So there's, like, So you don't get him every other pack. Market. You get him, like, every, like, say, five or ten packs if you bought yeah, them. Yeah, so, so say, say, like, oh, he is... Oh, there's just a special. Oh, shit. Oh, it's just a special, you know, like... Certain times that you know, like happy. Yeah, well, they're probably they're probably release it like soon enough because like it's this time of year when they start doing stuff like team of the year to try and get people like playing FIFA because like they're starting to go away from it. Like, yeah, they even need they need to start bringing stuff. But it's kind of good to bring it out now because I remember for example COD Four when like I used to just play that game to the death and then um, you get that point then when you're like God I need new maps and then they bring them out not like now when they bring them out every single friggin' week. But it's kind of good that they... I hope they bring something out. Because, well, I don't know if they will, actually, because you're 2012. Yeah. Because they want people to play that. If you think about it. Mm. But I want to mention, this is off topic again. I know he meant to go into real-life football, but Ghost Recon uh, Future Soldier is awesome. I'm currently playing the beta. Yeah, um, Brett Scorry and, um, and Michael. Mm, I went to say they... you signed up to Raptor, which basically it, it, it <clears> shows um, how many hours a week you play of uh, games or minutes and etc. Or what games you play each week. You get like an email, and they actually give you offers, and they give me the beta. And plus, I also won with one with Sweet Patch, so I had two. Bit of a fix that with Sweet Patch, obviously. Wait a minute, Sweet Patch gave you one. Yeah. First night to asked... comment on the status. Oh, I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna email him after and ask for a code. <laughs> it is a really good game. I love Tom Clancy games. Um, uh, I've heard of mixed reviews, but uh, it does look quite good. Well, if it's mean? free, you might as well try it. Yeah, it's like a gig and a half download. I'm, I'm so playing uh, this Trials Evolution. I never played the first one, but this is pretty like good. Like I'm really liking it. Mm. I don't know. Can you hear the engines going off in the background? No, we can't. But anyway, let's oh. go on to um, uh, real-life football now. We're talking about the results, not results, like fixtures which are coming up and whatnot. What's going to be, like, who, what's going to be the main game to watch out? Oh, Arsenal-Chelsea tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Early kick-off, yeah. quarter to one kick-off, Arsenal v Chelsea. 
Um, I ain't gonna lie. I think Arsenal may win just due to tie in this. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think. Well, There's Arsenal have no drop for tomorrow. Is t- uh, Torres up front? Yeah, and um, plus we have three more. Right? Chelsea played Sunday. Wednesday, it was Wednesday, wasn't it? It was a Tuesday, one of the week games, and now they play Who Saturday. Do, what what strikers do Chelsea have at the moment? Though? Like they've dropped Torres, with Torres, Sturridge, uh, Lukaku. Oh, Lukaku, yeah, but he's not half as good. That's another no, player. No, it's not. It's not that he's not half. I, you don't realize he's eighteen. He's yeah, but he's but, huge. Like, that's the thing. Yeah, but like massive that, for right? an eighteen year old. We, we when we were talking in the stream earlier about like people saying about Neymar being world class, and I was saying, oh, well, he's never played in the proper league. You can't call him world class until he plays in like a proper like world class league, yeah. mm-hmm. and like that's the thing with Lukaku. I don't everyone think he played. Like, everyone, enough. every everyone was like, "Oh, Lukaku's world class and stuff." And oh, and he's like, a great player. You can't yeah, say that. He, has he hasn't play. played though. I think he needs to go on loan. Yeah, Maybe go to like. Has, uh, has, I think Stoke though, wanted him. Fucking stick football manager. You know, fuck all. No, I'm saying he hasn't done it. But he hasn't played. Yeah, he, he, he doesn't has... look. He doesn't look like a player who will score with his feet. He looks like a player who will score with his head, but he's just too tall. <laughs> yeah, I think he needs to go on loan, and he did say yeah. as well that uh, this was he, this was on the Chelsea website. He said that he will go on loan to gain experience and try and get that uh, first team because he said Chelsea is actually the team that he supports. So, oh, Dan, are you, do you trying to think what? A kid, do you believe that? A kid growing up in Belgium fucking supports Chelsea. That's fucking yeah, bullshit. Yeah, there's a video of him when he went to a school trip there on YouTube. Oh, Dan, come on. Honest to like... God, honest to God, have a look. Yeah, but that, he goes on school trip. Doesn't mean he supports them. How many footballers these days no, do you hear he, saying, yeah, like, oh, uh, I'm so yeah, glad like to questions play asked He said that he supports Chelsea. Like, that's before, this was way before he even thought about going to Chelsea. Uh, nah, Dan, that's all. But bullshit, anyway, that. in general, um, I think he just needs to go on loan. Uh, Stoke yeah. were after him, um, but this was when they first signed him at the start of the year. So it looks like maybe I reckon he'll go on loan to uh, maybe Sunderland. <laughs> all right, Dan, football guru. What? I reckon you will. Shout! I dug. They're short strikers. Yeah. <laughs> He's a good shout, actually. That's why he didn't say Blackburn, Dan. Well, that'll be championship more likely. I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> at the moment. But... Oh, oh, you're starting to admit it now, no, are you, Dan? I think we'll still stay up, but um, it's looking more than likely because we've got two games in front of Bolton and we are one point less than them. So, basically, it, but we got to play Wigan and QPR. No. Wigan and Norwich. So, those are the two main games which we kind of need to win. Wigan are a good team at the moment. Yeah. But was I reckon a team that may go down, for example, say if Blackburn win, Wigan win, um, I would say QPR won, I reckon Aston Villa may go down. Oh, Aston Villa won't go down. Well, they got 35 points. I'd yeah, love it if they win. I'll find 35, it funny. Dan, this season, 35 points won't be relegation, though. Well, Wigan got 34. Uh, Dan, do you want, yeah, but Wigan are doing quite well recently. Like, they well, like Blackburn two wins. did well recently and got the way Wigan was. They can easily crash and burn. Uh, yeah, I'm not that's true. Be... That's true, yeah, though. It's true. I know, but Villa are not going to get relegated. Oh, you know they've been playing shit. Yeah, fuck you know. You just said to Dan, football guru. And now you're telling me they're not going to get re- relegated. How do you know why? Because I know we uh, Villa are good football team. I know that's a Villa have good footballers. They're not like they've no offense playing... to Blackburn. They've been and playing Wigan. terrible. Yeah, but, uh, every every team in the Premiership has good football players. Yeah, yes. but Villa are too big to go down. But I reckon yeah, they I could d- go d- down, though. I, I reckon they could still go down. The safety barrier for not getting relegated is 40 points at the moment. Yeah, but like everyone's saying, it's going to be lower than that this season, Dan. And still sitting to 40. That's your safety. For It's the same. It happened last year. It'd be the from 15th to 20th. It's still going to. Well, I think Wolves are gone. They have got yeah, Wolves are 23 gone. points. So. If they, oh, it, my beloved Wolves. Is it, is it yeah. if they lose oh. one more game and everyone else wins, they get relegated? I wouldn't know. Something like that, anyway. But I think they'll be gone in anyway. But uh, let's crack on the games. Who do you think is going to win? Arsenal or Chelsea? Chelsea. Obviously. Draw. I'm just going to go Arsenal just through the fact of tiredness. No bother. Arsenal. Draw. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got Aston Villa and Sunderland. See, look, that's a game now. Say Sunderland won. And I think they will. They will. And they if will. Wigan yeah. win, yeah. they go down into Wigan's position then. Who are Wigan playing? Fulham. Mm, at I don't where know. at? I, they're at oh, that... uh, Fulham. 
Oh, it's actually, uh, they won't win the Craven College. Well, they won at Arsenal. But yeah, I guess so. Yeah. They well. they lost away games. They'd beaten United. I think that was a home actually. Uh, they beat Arsenal. They beat Liverpool. They should have beaten Chelsea. They got cheated out of Chelsea, and they beat one other team. So, uh, it's a little stat for you. <laughs> so yeah, they, um, I think I'm gonna go with our, uh, Sunderland on uh, uh, this fixture. Yeah, I'll go Sunderland. Adam. Yeah, that's the Sunderland. Uh, uh, right. Dave. Yes, I do agree, Sunderland. And the most important game of the weekend, ladies and gentlemen, is Man United versus Everton. Blackburn Rovers versus Norwich. You and I like the way every week we go through this charade where Dan pretends like he actually supports Blackburn. <laughs> every week. I'll uh, I'll what top should I put? I'll put my Sunderland top this weekend. I got Liverpool top on right now. I'm surprised he hasn't invested a red in, in the red one yet. Now, Dan. Hi, if you've read well, my tweet. Oh, have you? I don't know. I didn't even read your tweet. I just yeah. I was literally I put a tweet out saying, "Oh, I want I might get the red in top." Oh, the it's top. nice the red in top. Yeah. I really yeah, like I know. It. I, I like I like the you know the their away one, the kind of the brown one. I think that's really nice. The grey one. I like. I come in for okay. this year or last year. I, the some well some team anyway had a grey and orange one. Maybe I'm riding. Oh, I'm I'm thinking of getting um, the Napoli kit. I think that's really nice. Or same with the uh, Portuguese national nice team. Kit, nice away Aren't, kit, black and a blue striker. Or I'm thinking blue. of getting uh, the Portugal national team because there's this website and they do kits and it's like. You can get the name, like you get the names, numbers, and you know like the competition tags. Yeah. You get that all printed and delivered for like thirty euro. So I don't know what's that about twenty five pounds. Yeah, that's twenty five pounds. That's, that's like. Bad, yeah, that's fucking good value. Like. That's good. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go Blackburn on this one, but. Who are they playing against? Norwich at Ewood Park, but that doesn't really matter. Blackburn playing shit in all ways at the moment. I'm saying Blackburn as well. I'd say Blackburn. But if you think about it, right, the only thing with Blackburn. The last two results, not last two, last, when they played United and Liverpool, last minute goal, caught up in the last 10 minutes, and Man United they lost, caught up in the last 10 minutes again. So they, they shit over the last 10 minutes, instead of the full 90, just beast over the 80, and they can't, don't take their chances. But when they played, uh, uh, where was it, they played Swansea, they played pathetic. Then. But anyway... Next game, Bolton and Swansea City. <laughs> what did you do that in Sudan? Was that like papers? No, on? this is a uh, relay oh, cool. baton. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> and what do you use that for? <laughs> Relaying. Uh. Uh, no, but is it is the official Team B relay baton? Team B? Team GB. Sorry. Oh no, I'm going to say Team B, never heard of Team B. By the way, have you not seen that you only live one account on um, YOLO. on Twitter? It's FIFA the, YOLO. Yeah, FIFA YOLO, it's you only live once. It has like two and a half thousand followers now, it's so funny. Oh yeah, I've seen that. Um, predictions for Swansea and Bolton. At Bolton, ladies and gentlemen. Swansea and going for after they battered Blackman 3 0. Who's having a poo in toilet? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Sorry, Sound like you got your head down fucking bog or something. <laughs> what, uh, what are you going for, guys? Swansea. <laughs> Lovely, Dan. What about you, George? Swansea. Uh, Adam? Swansea. Yeah. Alright, we got Fulham and also we got Wigan. And I'm going to go Wigan. I, w- I want to see Fulham win. Do you think the world, though, Daniel? That's the question. Everybody. Is a question. Uh, no. I'm gonna go Fulham. Two-one victory. No, two-nil even. Yeah, I'll go Fulham. Dempsey and reset the score. Well, he's on. He's on form, mm-hmm. isn't he? Yeah. Do you think he'll leave in the summer? Well, yeah. allegedly, Roma's after him. Roma. Hmm. Oh, Roma. It. They've had a lot of controversy apparently up there recently. A lot of players want to leave. That's why Pizarro's so we'll at City. Uh, I don't think Pizarro will stay there, though. No, he won't stay at City. He's only on loan. Uh, he hasn't played that, that much great. this 
No. Mm. He did Everyone see. Yeah, I think him. they were just there because it took, you know, yeah, yeah, and that, and, and that they were on like, African Nations ball, it's one so they needed, like, cover. Yeah, yeah. it's like, ah, oh, Greaves. He'll leave. And um, we've also got Newcastle and Stoke, and I'm going to go Newcastle on this one, and I reckon Tottenham are going to lose against QPR and Newcastle going Champions League spot. I'm going to go Stoke and Tottenham. Sammy, Adam? I'll probably say the same. I, I'm trying, I would try, I'm going to try and be controversial. Sorry, but... I wasn't listening to the question, what was it? <laughs> well, you ain't going to answer it then. On, yeah, that's because you, you slab on so much, Dan. It's like, it's hard to pay attention. A bit harsh, isn't it? No, it's not. Maybe you ought to talk a bit more. Yeah, that's because you talk so much. <laughs> but anyway, right, prediction. Last one. Let's just end this podcast, come on. We are. We are the last one now. Man United vs. Everton. Well, we're not even going on to that day. We're going to do Sunday. <laughs> Yeah, we do. Just do Man United vs. Everton. Not, not anymore, sorry. Not anymore. Guys, thank you very much for watching episode 54 of the Batman Podcast in partnership with SweetPatch.tv. Um, we'd like to say thank you very much to our professional footballer, our YouTuber, our friend, Mr. George 7 k FIFA. Thank you, George. Thank, thank you, you George, for letting me on here. No problem, you, George. It's been a pleasure, George. I, I tap my guys. mic. I love you, too, I love George. you, too, George. <laughs> love you, too. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for joining us. Dedication is key, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye, guys. See you later, guys.